at one with nature. Exactly. They're in harmony it's, with nature. Exactly. And the child is at peace. You know. Well, that's that's the kind of feeling I like to evoke from my mm-hmm. paintings. I mean, I, it, it's uh, it's nice to do a, a wildlife scene or a landscape still or life, still life. Good. But uh, for yeah. me, I want to grab my people where they can look at it and say, "Hey, look, that's 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 part of me right there." I would really like to to feel that and have that in my home. If you had a picture of a pink flamingo or flower arrangement in your home versus this being exposed to your child, which yes. one would you think would have the biggest impact on their development? Well, this would have a of course. Bit of impact. Because most of us can, in our household can remember what we had on the walls. Yeah, if we were fortunate, we had a, a Martin Luther King. We yeah. probably had a Last Supper. We probably had a Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, it might have had some floral arrangements. It may have had a pink flamingo. But we didn't have too many things that were positive depictions of who we are. A reflection of ourselves. Yeah. Well, you might have had that, that uh, what is it, Renoir with the little girl doing the ballet, you know, like that. Yeah. Or something like that. But well, Again, I mean, I think everybody can, can think of how many pieces they had that had real significance where their children were exposed to it daily mm-hmm. so that you wouldn't have to say anything to them. They could feel what's happening. It's part of their existence. And that's what art does. You know, mm-hmm. whether they look at it or not or ask questions about it or not, they've been exposed to that image and it's locked in the mind. And they can I, relate to it. That's what I was going to say. You don't know how important a piece like this is and the type of work that you do uh, the type of effect, uh, effect that it has on not only grown-ups but children that goes into the subconscious mind I think we do because if we look at any cartoon that's on TV mm-hmm. and you see how children latch onto the images that we get yes, on TV they and they carry that for a long time and they, they, they ask what they demand it well I feel like the same thing could happen with art if you start to educate mm-hmm. them and put the right things around them they'll begin to seek out those kind of mm-hmm. things what are some other pieces uh, that you've uh, that you've done? Well, <laughs> I have a dance series. It's real mm-hmm. popular right now. Sidestepping is probably one of my more popular mm-hmm. images. But uh, I did the dance series for the same reason that we're discussing. We talk about art being cut back, and mm-hmm. the dance theaters in, Bo- in, the, in the United States are really suffering right now. Mm-hmm. And I think most of it's not because of the beauty and what they're doing. I think it's because of the lack of apathy, and people haven't prioritized it as something that's important to them. You find that you have to ed- kind of educate people to the type of art you do. Because uh, I've had some people say to me uh, things about my writing, and such things as, well... Do you ever write about things that relate to everybody and all that kind of stuff? You know? Well, I said, yeah, yeah. but I, I write basically for black people. Right. And I don't back up off of that. For me, I, I mean, I, I think that it's important that I do things that, that people will get a message from. Mm-hmm. Um, but sometimes that's not my concern when I pull out a mm-hmm. piece. Uh, but most of the works that I put on the market yeah. to be reproduced, I put on the market for that purpose. So people have asked you, are you an artist first or are you a quote-unquote black artist? Well, they label you as a black artist because that's all they can do. I mean, we live in a world where people categorize you no matter what you do. So they ask you if you want to be a black artist. You're black, so you're a black artist. Well, yeah. <laughs> I've been categorized as a black artist, but it's funny when people talk to me, I'm an artist. But when you're in the, in the business world, it's definitely a difference. You're a black artist. Do with all the uh, galleries coming up that are carrying black art and that kind of thing, is it an advantage to, the, to those galleries you know, that are not African-American owned? Well, to use that label for yes. their own benefit. Well, I think that what's going to happen is that 10 years ago, um, blacks for the most part were not buying black art. And whites for the most part were not didn't care about black art. That was 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. Okay, I mean, I'm sure there's some, some instances where, where that existed, but for the most part across the board it didn't. Mm-hmm. Nowadays it's much different. Uh, black people are going into these galleries saying, well, hey, you got some nice stuff here, but do you have anything with African Americans? And do you have yes. any black art? Okay, And now they're challenged. They either have to Go out and stock the store with some of this stuff, or to just say, hey, look, I'm going to be resistant against this. And in most cases, most of them are saying, hey, let me get some of it in here so that when they come back. So, I mean, it's, it's twofold now. I mean, the interest is there. We just got to expose people to accepting it. I mean, I, for me, whether somebody buys our piece is not important. It's, it's if they accept it for what it really is supposed to be. Well, you know, the, the thing with me, I guess, is I've been going to art galleries for years, and for years I didn't see any black art at all. Mm-hmm. I used to go look for it, you know. Mm-hmm. You'd be looking all through all the things, and you wouldn't, couldn't find any Well, black the thing art. is, that, again, the, the difference black between people. black art now and black art then is that it was not, it's, it's readily available now, whereas at first it wasn't. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think that's one of the biggest things that's going to affect people's uh, uh, attention to it. Um, do, do you think, like the, the record industry, that uh, other people will get into business in the way they can control black art and black artists or or black artists yeah. can take well, more of a business role. Art is a billion dollar industry that's untalked about. Even in art school, I went to art college and it still wasn't discussed as to no, you don't hear much the about industry. It. And you don't hear it. It's, very, it's kept very quiet. Why? 
Um, 